Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Friday the 6th of December 2013 and this is an update to my earlier video about the strange message that I got on the SOHO website, the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory website. In my previous video I mentioned this uh, message as we can see here that uh, popped up when I was uh, refreshing the page. Uh, which seemed rather mysterious and uh, I've done some checking into this and I've got an update for you so I thought I'd share that with you. As it turns out um, this message and I'll just read it to you again the system is property of the European Space Agency restricted access the solar and heliospheric observatory SOHO project scientist team. Notice this computer has been assigned a US government internet protocol IP address to be used for authorized government purposes. By accessing and using the computer or its systems, you are consenting to system monitoring, including the monitoring of keystrokes. Unauthorized use of or access to this computer system may subject you to disciplinary action and criminal prosecution and we see that there's a link there to the NASA privacy policy and important notices page. Um, now this seemed a bit mysterious because I'd never encountered this before on the SOHO website or uh, any others that I've been on. It popped up fairly quickly and seemed rather mysterious and uh, as I mentioned in my first video I had to use my screen capture software to grab it quickly before it disappeared um, because it flashed up that quickly. Um, now after some checking, um, what I should have done of course was to uh, contact the webmaster of the, of the page and uh, ask for their explanation and somebody else has actually done that and a reply has come back. I have also contacted the, the webmaster and uh, he has replied to me an email and I'm going to show you that next. This is my email to george at ESA. Um, and I'll show you his reply in a moment. I wrote, I am writing to you about a security notice that appeared while I was using the SOHO website recently. But first of all, I must apologize. I should have thought to contact the webmaster about this in the first instance. I believe that you have seen my YouTube video, Strange SOHO Warning Notice, Government Monitoring, by Dazza the Cameraman, which I have now removed. The truth is I'm not really a conspiracy theorist and am usually debunking conspiracy nonsense and defending NASA and other agencies, especially regarding astronomy topics. I am an amateur astronomer. I just found the pop-up message to be very unusual, especially the reference to keylogging and thought that I would share what I found. Now I feel rather silly. If you would like to respond with an email, I would like to do a follow-up video explaining the reasons for the security notice. I know that others would be interested to hear the full story too. Kind regards. And George responded, and we can see the header of the email there, george at esa.nascom.nasa.government to Dazza G and uh, CC to the webmaster at ESA. Dear David, thank you for contacting me directly. I presume you must have already seen my response to another gentleman who saw your video and contacted me about it. This was my response which I think explains what is going on. George wrote, I saw the video on YouTube. It is funny. The servers mentioned, SOHO Data, Zeus, are auxiliary servers that provide data to the main SOHO site, soho.nascom.nasa.gov. As such, they don't have a website on them, so when accessed on the web, they auto-redirect the main SOHO site. As far as the notice about monitoring, it is a standard US government computer system notice placed there to provide support to court proceedings, example, when prosecuting hackers. This because unless it is explicitly stated that monitoring is taking place, then hackers can and have claimed an expectation of privacy because they were not warned. Sorry to disappoint the conspiracy theorists, but do any of these people really believe that we would be posting timely stories such as NASA Pick of the Week on our website or attract the welcome worldwide media attention and there's a link to the newsroom if we were trying to hide something really? So hi, SOHO is a science mission and all the data is available to anyone. There is no intention to hide anything. 
We are scientists. We are trying to explore and discover, not to hide. Warm regards, George. Now, as George mentioned, that was his initial reply to somebody else who had contacted him. He further responded to me. I hope this makes sense. No need to feel silly. We often see things that we don't expect and attribute them to some nefarious causes. But it is fine. I'm glad you contacted us. It also showed to me that even the most benign and well-meaning things, example, adhering to the law, can be perceived a different way. It is all good. Clear skies, as the astronomers usually say. With warm regards, George. Now I think this is probably a good example of uh, a classic case of where something appears to be some grand conspiracy that when you dig a little bit deeper there's usually a pretty good explanation and as I mentioned in my first video and in my email um, I'm really not much of a conspiracy theorist this one did take me by surprise because I hadn't seen it before but as we found once we check we find that there is a perfectly good explanation and as we know there are hackers that attack government websites uh, we've seen the likes of uh, anonymous and other groups that like to hack government websites and and others and obviously the uh, the websites do need some sort of protection from that sort of thing now I have removed my first video simply for the reason that I don't want it to be misrepresented because it doesn't uh, contain the whole story but what I'm going to do is include the original video at the end of this one so that nobody can say that there's been any cover-up or anything like that so I hope you've enjoyed watching that um, it's been an interesting story and I'm glad that we got to the bottom of it as always do check out my Facebook discussion page Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching. Now here is that first video repeated for you. Well here's a strange thing that uh, I've not encountered before and as you know I'm not much of a conspiracy theorist but this one is a little strange. I reopened the Soho NASCOM .NASA government our website as you can see here and I got a strange message pop up it only um, popped up briefly so I reopened the page and used my um, screen capture software to capture the the message now let's see if we can get it to pop up again I'll just uh, open a new tab here and post the link and see if I can capture it and there it is I've just captured that, that's just frozen it there. This system is property of the European Space Agency Restricted Access, the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory SOHO project scientist team. Notice, this computer has been assigned a US government internet protocol IP address to be used for authorised government purposes. By accessing and using the computer or its systems, you are consenting to system monitoring, including the monitoring of keystrokes. Unauthorized use of or access to this computer system may subject you to disciplinary action and criminal prosecution. And then there's a link to the NASA privacy policy and important notices. But this message uh, tends to disappear fairly quickly um, so I had to be pretty quick to jump on that link, link. and um, I'll just get rid of this to start with because it wants to capture it, there we go and uh, it disappears pretty quickly and then takes you to the page but um, I've already opened that link in another tab and this is where it takes us to nasa.gov about slash highlights slash HP privacy and here it is I can put the links in the description to this video so you can click on them if you want to have a closer look but um, certainly very strange and something I'll be looking into a little bit further.